guys! I am back! Oh my god, I'm so excited to be back. I just finished filming another video that will be up after this one, but I am back and I'm so excited to be back. I'm sorry, I was planning to film a me reaction. I was gonna film a me review when it came out, but um, life just took over and my life got so fast and so busy and my personal life and finals came up and I was like, oh my god. Um, so I'm sorry that this is delayed, but I still wanted to come on here and talk about me because Taylor Swift did that and I just wanted to say what I thought about the song, what I thought about the video, what is Taylor Swift doing, and I'm just here to say I'm back and I missed you guys and I really did miss filming videos and I felt very inspired to do it today so that's why I'm just sitting here with my hair my hair is fine but um just casually lounging it's rainy outside and I didn't do my makeup because if it's raining why would I do my makeup but I wanted to come and talk to you guys so me let's talk about what Taylor Swift did so, me came out on April 26th. It is now the 13th of May, and if Taylor Swift does anything while I'm filming this, um, 9-1-1-13. But, um, I am very impressed. I was like, oh my god, Taylor's really out here doing a collab for her debut single off TS7. That's not something I really expected, to be honest, and when the news broke about it, I was like, oh my god, what? I knew it had to be good. Taylor Swift knows what she's doing. She has my trust. She completely knows how to handle things, and like she said, she wanted the song to be the first single that came out for this album because of the message, and she said that she felt like she needed it after Reputation and like all the the dark messages in reputation and, you know, the snake. And I think that this was the perfect song. Now, I haven't heard TS7, obviously, but I really do think that Taylor strategizes really well and she knows how to pick her debut singles um, from the album. And she always makes a statement like, look what you made me do made a complete statement. She knew what she wanted to say. She wanted to say the old Taylor's dead. Like you guys did this and I'm, I'm over it. And she came back like that. She came back this time with a strong message of individuality and like celebrating yourself and celebrating yourself for who you are and not what you have or how much you make or any of that. Just being you and celebrating you as an individual and like she said in an interview, there's not a lot of pop songs like that. And she wanted there to be a strong underlying message of positivity and celebrating yourself and something that would get stuck in your head. And oh my God, Taylor Swift got it stuck in my head. I think it's a fun song. It wasn't meant to be serious. And of course, when she puts out TS7, there will be serious songs. It's not like, oh, like... Spelling is fun! It's gonna be like the whole theme of the album. I mean, it's gonna be pr bright, pastel, vibrant, positive, and a new beginning and a rebirth of, you know, Taylor Swift after Reputation. But I think that we're still gonna, of course, get those in-depth, like, messages and all that. But I think that her putting out me was very important and a very substantial landmark for her career and I absolutely love it and I love the video. I love oh my god, Taylor Swift in a suitcase. I, I, oh, <laughs> I really just said that. I meant Taylor Swift Taylor Swift in a suit. A pantsuit. Oh my god, that's so funny. If you guys don't know um, there was a rumor when she was hiding that she would get carried in and out of her apartment in a suitcase, and I guess when I said suit, that's the first thing I thought of. Oh my god, that's so funny. I'm so leaving that. <laughs> um, just because that was something that was really funny, um, and it's a, like an inside joke in the fandom. <laughs> I can't believe 
<laughs> but Taylor Swift in a pantsuit is um a power statement. Like you look it up in the dictionary and you see boss babe and you see that picture of Taylor Swift in the yellow suit. Wow. And the choreography between like her and like Brendan Urie was the cutest thing ever. And Benjamin Button, <laughs> the cat in the music video that Brendan hands Taylor as a gateway to her heart was actually a cat that she adopted from the video shoot. And I think that's so adorable. And I love Benjamin Button. Oh my God. He is the cutest. He's, I can't wait to see more Benjamin Button content. But apparently the album name's in there and I'm going with the kaleidoscope theory. Truly, if you're not a Taylor fan, um, there's a lot of theories going around because Taylor said that the album name and the next single title are in the music video. And my guess is Kaleidoscope, but I don't know the single title because everybody's saying Lover and apparently she said not many people have guessed the next single title, so. And everybody's been saying Lover, so I guess it's not Lover. But Kaleidoscope is the theory I'm going with completely. But, uh, oh my god, I love her so much. And when she performed on the Billboard Music Awards, um, literally one of the best performances I've ever seen from her. And I've seen a ton. I've been to Speak Now, Red, 1989, and Reputation. And I've watched every single performance that she's ever done. That girl absolutely nailed it. She made such a statement. Like, she had people going from umbrellas. She had people, the drum line. She had, she just went all out for this opening performance. And I felt like I was watching a Taylor Swift concert instead of the opening of the Billboard Music Awards. But that's just how Taylor always is. And she always goes above and beyond. And she's so good and I can't wait for this song on tour and I can't wait to hear her go hey kids DC is fun or like hey kids Nashville is fun or like wherever I end up seeing her you guys will be finding out when that all happens but I'm so excited for this next chapter with Taylor and I am blown away by her always this girl knows what she's doing she never fails to amaze me, truly. I love her so much, and it's so much fun being a fan of hers because she always keeps that mystery, you know? Like, she could just say, okay, here's a single, but she likes to make things an event. She likes us to find out clues and then later tell us the album name, but I'm ready. Taylor Swift. TikTok. I'm getting, in <laughs> I'm getting impatient because I'm so excited um, to see where this takes her. But yeah, that's my little rant on me, and I'm sorry it's late again. Life just gets crazy. I know you guys understand that. But I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching, and whatever video requests you guys have below, I might do. So I love you guys, and that's all I really know, and please let me know what you think of the song down below. And when I get more of my merchandise that I've ordered, I can make a video on that. Just let me know what you guys want to see. And I love you guys. And I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>